Alrighty, y'all, today we're going to be making this little little girl's jumper. Um, I got the idea from a picture that I saw on Facebook, and I thought it would be fun to try it out. I do want y'all to know that um, this is going to be my first try at this. So if you stick around to the end of the video, we'll talk about some things I would do a little different, which will help you along if you decide to make one. And uh, first thing we're going to do is this neat little thing called Google Search. You go in and search for um, baby diaper cover or nappy cover, just depending on what your country calls it. Um, so find the one that suits you. And I, I did find a few, and I'll, I'll let you know the differences in those and what I did and didn't like. One thing I don't like about doing this kind of search is you are constantly having to click. Like somebody is always posting on their blog about somebody else's blog who posted about somebody else's blog. So there was a lot of clicking back and forth. But I did decide to print out these three um, diaper covers that I found. And I've got this one right here, which is a two piece, really simple. You cut it on the fold. So there's that one. And it only had the one size. I didn't see other sizes. I have this one, which would require a lot of taping and matching up sides and all of that. And then finally, the last one that I'm going to show you here in a second is just one piece. It only printed out one piece. It didn't say it was for both sides. I didn't understand it. So yep, that one's out immediately. So the thing about this one is just so much taping and everything involved, so I'm not going to do that one. I'm going to go with the one that I found that's just the two pieces. It has a piece for the back, a piece for the front. Um, I will post a link to this one in the description box below. So if you want to print out this actual one, you can do that. First step, of course, is going to be to cut out the pattern. Okay, the next thing I'm doing here is I'm just drawing a half of a heart, and that's going to be for the top part of this little outfit. And this is kind of something that you're just going to have to play around with. You need to have the child that you're making it for, you know, close by maybe so that you can kind of size it up. I've added to mine, a, it's going to be about a half an inch seam allowance all the way around. So that was what I was thinking originally and I'm going to cut it on the fold and you will cut two and you could cut you know one of contrasting fabric maybe muslin for the inside and then one of um, the outside fabric but since I'm just doing this for the video I'm you know just using up some old fabric stock that I had to just demonstrate this here Okay, so there I have both pieces for the bodice part. We're going to set those aside and now we're just going to cut out the little diaper pants. And the pattern that I'm using requires that you cut one piece of each pattern piece on the fold. That means the fold is going to be on that long part there so that when you open it up you have the whole piece for the front and back of the diaper pants. Alrighty, so we got that second piece there and now what I'm doing is I'm just gonna mark with chalk on the back of the back side that'll be the back side of the diaper cover and I'm not cutting out another um, shape here for the diaper cover what I actually did was use it to measure the sides of the skirt that I wanted so I'm just doing a front side and a back side cut on the fold and you know you can use the diaper pants as a measurement it just helps you get there it's just up to you how you do this part but I found that to be the easiest now here I have four pieces cut to make straps. And I will tell you at this point that these are way too wide. You're only going to need about half this size. I cut mine about four inches wide, which is way too wide. But you'll need four pieces that are about two and a half inches wide, maybe two inches. And then that way you get about a one inch wide um, strap for the bodice. Thank you. 
Okay, once I've sewn these pieces together for the straps, I'm just going to turn them out right side out and I'm going to press them. Okay, now what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna put these straps on the top of the bodice. And you can do measuring, and, and I would recommend it if you do make the straps more narrow, you can kind of fold the heart shape over and mark where you want those straps to be. But I didn't do that here. I'm, I'm basically demonstrating how to do this. So I'm just gonna stitch those on. You don't need to do a back stitch, anything like that. You just wanna stitch them on so they stay in place when you get ready to put the two pieces of the heart together. And that's what I'm going to be doing here. First, I'm going to get these straps out of the way. We want to make sure that we don't sew over those when we go to attach the other piece of the heart to the top of the to the bodice piece. So I'm going to pin these on and I'm going to sew all the way around, leaving the opening in the bottom so that I can turn it. Okay, so right here I'm, I'm just fixing up this little line that I kind of sewed a little too far over in there. And I'm going to clip the edges of these straps off and then I'm going to clip the corners around the rounded edges. And that just helps you to get a much neater fold when you turn it out. Makes it press prettier. You just don't clip through the thread. You just clip to the thread. So I'm going to turn this right side out. I'm going to make sure I pull those needles out first because I'm good about sticking myself with these pins. So once I've got this all straightened up, I will just press it. And then what I'm going to do is go in and do a top stitch. You can see originally I had planned on putting some <laughs> lace around the outside. And it was just way too freaking tedious. So if that's what you want to do with yours, you're welcome to do it. But I am basically just demonstrating this project for you. And I'm, I'm just not going to waste all that extra time on this. Um, so yeah i just went in and did a top stitch to stitch that down because the heart kind of fit funny at the top where i did the straps and i'm sure there's probably a better way to do that as well i just didn't do it here so now i'm just going to prep the skirt piece and i'm just going to sew down the sides that Okay, so now I'm gonna put together the diaper cover and we're gonna start by sewing that crotch line there and then we'll press it out so that it doesn't bunch up and irritate baby when they wear it. Now I'm gonna do the elastic and the way I did it here was um, I just put it on the fabric and did a, it stretched it as I went along. Now this is, this is a pretty good technique. I have done this a lot before, but the thing is it needs to be done with a zigzag stitch. For the sake of the video here, I just went ahead and did it this way, but it is so much more difficult to work with. If you do a zigzag stitch and stretch that right along the edge, it makes it a lot easier to do. And for something that narrow, making casing is just really hard. So once you've got the elastic stretched out there, you fold it over itself to make the casing and then you stretch along again and like I said this works great if you use a zigzag stitch um, I don't think my vintage singer has a zigzag stitch if it does I don't know why I didn't use it doing the video but anyway um, it's a really neat way to do it it holds that elastic in really well if you have another way to do it and you disagree with the way I do it you are welcome to do it your way so anyway, now once I've got the legs done, I'm going to sew along the sides of these, this little diaper cover and that part will be complete.
Okay, so now that I've got the little diaper cover sewn, my next step is going to be to attach the skirt to the diaper cover. And I'm just going to line the sides up here and I'm just going to top stitch that or stitch it, basically, all the way around so that it's connected. So. All right, the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to install the elastic and I originally thought about um, doing like a casing and you know the way I talked about with the doing the legs sometimes but I decided I would just attach it the same way I did the elastic for the legs so that's what I'm going to do here I'm going to sew along the edge and stretch sew and stretch sew and stretch and then when I've got that done I'm going to fold it over and stretch and sew that is how that is done. All right, so here I'm just adding a hem to the bottom of the skirt. And I just did that by folding over about a half an inch and sewing it all the way around and then folding over about another half an inch and sewing it all the way around. It's just the easiest way to do a hem for me. It's the way I've always done it. It doesn't take away from the quality of an outfit as long as you make sure your lines are straight. But it's up to you if you know a different way to do the hem and you want to do it that way, go for it. Alrighty, so there we have the skirt and the diaper cover attached. Now we just need to attach the bodice. And um, I'm going to do that by sewing it on and just kind of lining it up and sewing it on there with the machine. But in hindsight, I really didn't like the way that looked. Um, if I were going to do this to actually give it to somebody, I would hand stitch the bodice on. That's really easy and you can do it that way and then it wouldn't the stitch line wouldn't show on the top part of the skirt. So there you have it our little outfit is complete and we can talk about the things that didn't go well like this bodice is you know it's a little wide for me i, I think i wish it would have been a lot more narrow um also the straps here they are just really too thick just extremely thick that it takes away from the look of the outfit but you know like i said i was doing this for demonstration for you guys so um, but I would do about half that size for the straps and the skirt I think I'd like for it to have been a little bit shorter it would have looked cute with the little diaper pants showing but anyway peace y'all bye bye